Hello, in this video, I'm gonna go over how to use Dropbox Replay to collaborate with clients and video editors like myself so that we can see exactly what needs to be changed and make those changes so that you can see the changes from one video to the next video in a nice way. So what I'm gonna do first is kind of go over the user interface real quickly. Here's the title of the uh, project. Here's the version. So you hit the drop down, you see that there's only one version here. But when I do an update and I post it from the notes that I see in replay, you'll see version two here. So this is where you would toggle between one and two to see what the comments were that you wanted changed and then how they were applied to the actual um, change on version two. Um, over here is where the comments are going to show up. And these comments are posted down here. This is the timeline of the actual video. So this video, we can see it's starting at zero seconds and it goes to 29.967 seconds long. So what I'm gonna do here is that here's the play button, the play speed, you go back a frame, forward a frame. And if you are looking at a video, sometimes it's nice to have it on repeat if it's a short video. That way you can see it the first time and then keep watching different areas of the video just to kind of fine tune and make different comments at different times. Here is the um, audio, so I'll turn the audio on for this first one. But after a while, we kind of get the idea of what's going on with the audio. So once this is approved, you can obviously click this mute button so you're not hearing the same thing over and over again. So let's look at this video. So I'm gonna click on pause there because I see something that I wanna have changed. So I might come over here and I'm clicking on the screen and I'm drawing a box. And then I can draw a little arrow, I can do whatever, it's not very pretty, but I get the point. Um, this is the point where we want something changed because there's marks all over it and I can see that. So I can kind of gather what's going on. Change this to uh, 96 BPM. And then you click on post. So then we'll continue playing this video. Over here, maybe it's something right here. So I'm selecting that, I'm saying change to our amazing training app. And I click on post. So notice what's happening here. I've got the my avatar here with a circle around it and I've got one there. When I come over, over here and I toggle between all the different comments, I can quickly jump to that section and I can see what needs to be changed. So that's a great way for us to stay organized and I can log in when you're done. Just let me know when you're done editing this and I will be able to see all the changes. Now, when you start making these changes over here, I get an email about every five minutes saying, these comments were made on this video. These comments were made on this video. So at the very end, if you want to switch the status, to edit requests, you can do it that way, or you can just let me know that you're done with the video editing or the video comments and it's it's back to me. So that's when I'll go in here and I'll start making the changes. And that's basically Dropbox Replay.